starts in 10 minutes. Got to shoot on marathon day, early in the morning to see the setting up during the marathon and have James actually run in the marathon the way Billy Evans did for so many years and does and have Mark there in that location. Remarkable privilege. The help that we got from the marathon and from the athletic association and their partnership was incredible. We had units spread out throughout the race and kind of stood in the wings, kind of backstage, so to speak and waited for our moments when the BAA would allow us to come out and do our filming. We wanted to be respectful of being there, but also try to recapture some of the pageantry on Boylston. And then really we did the bulk of our workout at a, at a set because we wanted to be respectful and the inevitability of what we're recreating is, is traumatizing. Today we're here, we call the Boylston Street set. It's basically a, uh, a little mock-up of two main parts where the two uh, explosions were in the day. We recreated the exact finish line area from 2013. Eddie Jacobs has his own rental company and he sets this up every year for the marathon. The finish line is mine. Um, the bridge, the bleachers, the grandstand, the uh, timer's tent that you're seeing is all stuff that we provide for the marathon. So with talks from the BAA and with him, they kind of agreed to keep everything out of storage for another few months so we could shoot this down here. Our set is about a thousand feet long. We put the two sets exactly the same distance apart that they were on Boylston Street. So the visual effects people, when they do their long shots, will have both sets exactly in scale to each other. You can see all the green up on the walls. Uh, that's green screen so we can replace digitally the sets that we uh, find is more economical to put in digitally than you know, actually building physically. They do a, a laser survey of the entire real set on Boylston Street, and then they can actually put that in when they need to uh, in with the areas that are green. We can map in the buildings to shops and actually recreate that environment pretty much exactly um, and marry it to our asphalt and our, you know, kind of our construction. We matched all of the granite to the way it was done on really on Boylston Street. All these squares of granite were purchased. It matches exactly. Uh, we, you can see the gum spots we matched, the mailboxes, the, just the, the age around the, the lampposts. Everything's exactly where all the, the uh, plates and the uh, grills are in the street and pavement all matched to Boylston Street. We even had a painter, we painted the white stripes on the street and she went around with a caulking gun and put the little cracks in the white paint to make it look like it's been here a long time. It's amazing, we looked, walked on the set and we were like, wow, this is Boylston Street. Marathon Sports was built 100% accurate. It was, it was a working store. There was employees in there. And you know, all the shoes were on display, all the flyers, all the ads, all the, the clothing displayed. I walked out of the store, literally felt like I was on Boylston Street, took a left, and I thought I was going to go home. Like it was, it's just unbelievable what they did. This is where it happened, and this is the heart and soul of the story. Just can't imagine doing it anywhere else. There is something unique about the spirit of Boston, and that uniqueness is a function of its people. The people are amazing. The people make the city. It's a rich, historical, living, breathing history lesson. Virtually every extra in the film is from Boston, and a large percentage of them were involved in the actual event. I've been on the Central Mass Regional SWAT team for eight years. On that particular day, I, I was working in the emergency room. I was running that day, and um, I just finished. I got into the emergency room around 4, four o'clock or so. It was pandemonium. We had support from the community. It was overwhelming support. Uh, I brought the city together, it united quite a lot of people. It was kind of remarkable how many people came out that had actually been at the marathon that day. The people of Boston have a lot of love for the city of Boston. There is a patriotism surrounding this community. It's unlike most places I've visited. They release the photos of our guys sit back and listen, trust me. You gotta start letting Boston work for us, I'm telling you. We're shooting in five, six, seven other towns. Framingham, Malden, Peabody, Weymouth, Quincy. Dorchester, we've been to Emanuel College. All of those towns have kind of like open arms and welcomed us. Can't go to Boston and not feel that passion, that intensity, and that character. When this whole thing happened and when it all went down, the world recognized, oh my God, this is a really special place.
Did you know that Michael Fassbender attended the Drama Centre London but dropped out? And one of his classmates at the time was Tom Hardy. And Hardy stated that Fassbender was the best actor in the school. Wow. Who do you prefer as an actor, Fassbender or Hardy? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to click here for more cool videos. See you soon.